Welcome. I hope you are all doing good today. Welcome to all of my supporters, my subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I have some exciting news to share with you today. 30 years ago, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. It was very hard for me because I was very active, going to the gym, walking, running, going on bike rides, raising my family. However, as time passed by, forward 15 years, the disease progressed, causing me to have surgery on my knees and my hips. The inflammation in my fingers caused them to be swollen constantly. At times, it was very difficult to write, use a knife, or simple household chores. But by the grace of God, I was able to continue everyday chores. While in excruciating pain, backtrack, my family doctor was the one who was treating me for my arthritis. And I was taking the same medication as he because he too had the same disease. I really hated taking the pills that are prescribed for me. However, 13 years ago, I started seeing a rheumatologist. He treated me for many years. Then I had to go to a clinic to be treated and monitored. After two years, into my treatment at the clinic, sadly, my rheumatologist passed away. In 2018, I had a new rheumatologist who took over the practice. My medication got changed, but not the pills that I hated so much. I had to continue taking the pills. I continued a new treatment at home. In January 2019, I decided to research foods and see which foods did what. However, I started writing the foods that I eat on a daily basis, and as time went by, I noticed that I am feeling better each day. My blood work is now changing. In 2020, we had a bad virus, COVID-19. I still continued to research foods and changing my diet. In 2021, the pills that I hated and was told that I will never, never not take them, my rheumatologist changed from daily to once per week. In 2022, I was told that my blood work is, is the same. I am feeling so much better and I was told that if I continued making progress, the pills that I hated so much, I wouldn't need to take any more. Can you imagine how I felt? So July 2023, I was given the green light. No more hated pills. But I am on one medication that I am working hard to get off of by 2025. 
I believe that you are what you eat and that your body can heal itself. I am sharing with you some of the foods that I eat. Today, I am having for breakfast oatmeal and an apple. Please share this video with anyone you know who is going through a health problems. Whatever it is, it's good to help people. If I can reach just one person and help them, then that will make me feel so, so good. So today it's oatmeal. I will just tell you a little bit about the oatmeal because I research foods. Oatmeal contain soluble fiber called beta glucan, which should lower blood glucose and cholesterol levels, may reduce risk of heart disease and diabetes. Adding oatmeal to your daily diet is a great way to boost your fiber intake. It has more protein than most grains. It has vitamins and minerals also. Oats have more soluble fiber than most grains. Soluble fiber helps lower LDL cholesterol levels. Oatmeal has both insoluble and soluble fiber. One cup of cooked oatmeal with water or milk has approximately 4.56 grams of fiber. Oatmeal is good for your skin. You get your zinc, manganese, magnesium, and iron. Oatmeal gives you energy and keeps you feeling full for a long time. The gala apple. A large gala apple, you can have any apple of your choice, but this is my favorite apple, gala apple. is about five grams of fiber, a large one. The skin has most of the fiber, so peeling the apple reduces the fiber content. The natural fiber found in gala apple is pectin, which is a type of soluble fiber with several health benefits. It may improve cholesterol and blood pressure. It's recommended that men should eat two cups of fruits each day, women one and a half cup each day. Apples contain vitamin C. So today I am going to be making for breakfast oatmeal, but I want to show you my fingers. They are as normal as they are going to be. In the beginning, my fingers were changing shapes. And as I said, I research foods and look, I am so much better and grateful to God that by me taking my health into my hands, doing the research, I am feeling a hundred percent better. If you are having any health problems, please do not stop taking your medication. Talk to your health care provider. Please do not stop taking your medication. Talk to your health care provider. Work with your health care provider. Research foods. And then you will know when you're feeling better, your blood work will show it, you will feel it, 
and you will be able to take charge, you and your healthcare practitioner. Now I am going to go and make the oatmeal. I have the water boiling. I have five cups of water and two cups of oatmeal. Whoops. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Please tell a friend or anyone who you know who have health problems about the video. You can add, use whatever milk you like. If you're not a fan of the oatmeal, there's cornmeal porridge, green banana porridge, semolina porridge, whatever your favorite oatmeal, you know, porridge is. It doesn't have to be oatmeal. Oatmeal is mine. And you can add whatever milk you like. And I'll be right back. Adding in a bit of cinnamon, I already added the vanilla. And this is nutmeg, just a little bit. This is how I like it, not too thin, not too thick, just right. Yes, my friends, I learned that fruits, vegetables, and nuts are good for us. In my next video, I will share with you what I am gonna be having for lunch. So there we have it, oatmeal and fruits apple and these strawberries are from my my patch my strawberry patch so i am proud of them thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next video